Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am going to be a first year third grade teacher and I'm so excited you're here. If you don't already follow me on TikTok and Instagram, I'll have this listed here. That's where I normally post and I'll post more frequently than YouTube. So check that out. I took some screenshots of some of the questions I got asked on my laptop because I'm just using my phone to record this video. So I guess what I'll start off with, because I got a couple questions asking like about like how old I am, how long I've been teaching, stuff like that, just to clear it up because it's kind of confusing as to how I'm a first year teacher, but I have taught for four months. I'll just go ahead and tell that story really quick so that you kind of know where I'm at in my teaching journey. So I went to, because another question was, what college did you go to? I went to Meredith College in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, and I graduated in May of 2020 with my psychology degree, and then I student taught fall of 2020. Um, so I graduated in three years with my degree, and then with my licensure, it took me three and a half. So kind of confusing. But basically, I finished in December of 2020, and then I accepted a job at the school I went to my whole entire life. And I started there in February. I took over maternity leave for one of the second grade teachers there. So I finished the year off for her. Um, and so I taught from February until the end of the school year in May. So I've taught a little bit, but I'll still be a first year teacher in the fall. So there's that whole little explanation. So whenever I refer to things that I know work and didn't work, I'm referring to the four months that I did teach. Um, but this whole fall is definitely new for me because I've never had a beginning of the school year before. So I'll have some videos on me prepping for that and some things I'm excited about, all of that in different videos. <laughs> all right, so someone asked if I teach at a private Christian school or a public school. I teach at a private Christian school. I originally wanted to go right to public school um, whenever I finished, but the Lord really opened this door for me to go to the school that I went to, and I just knew I couldn't turn it down, and I am forever grateful that I didn't because I absolutely love it so much. I love the freedom. I love being able to just like worship freely and pour juice into my kids every single day. Someone asked, how did you know what to do your first year teaching? It's my first and I'm scared. Um, so relating back to what I said, I'm technically going to be a first year teacher still. Um, but I did kind of have like that first year like feelings in February whenever I was starting and I was about to have a classroom by myself on my own. I was really scared and nervous too, even though I am still for this upcoming year I'm still like nervous and scared but some advice um and like how I knew what to do definitely before you like start school get in contact with your team teachers my team was amazing they were so welcoming they helped me with all of my questions especially going in right in the middle of the year which hopefully you don't have to do that because that was definitely really tricky and hard but that was one of the biggest pluses was having my team there Sorry, it's probably really loud. But having my team there to help me whenever I needed them. Um, so that helped a lot. Um, definitely calm my nerves because I kind of knew what to expect going in and I knew the routines and everything because they had kind of already told me that. So that was great. Um, and that's kind of how I knew what to do as far as that. Um, other things were kind of just trial and error. I tried a lot of different things out and I quickly knew what worked and what didn't work, which was probably one of the only pluses of starting in February to May was since I was only going to be there for a short amount of time, I was able to kind of experiment with what I like to do as far as like classroom management and even like as far as like practical routines and procedures, things that I liked and things that I didn't like. So that was more of a trial and error situation and I know that'll still be the same for this upcoming school year in the fall. So, but definitely get connected with your team teachers ask as many questions as you need to because they're there to help and I'm sure they would be more than happy to help you and it'll help calm your nerves too if you just know basically the basic basically the basic but like the basic you know routines and procedures and the schedule of the day and how they do things that'll help calm your nerves. Someone asked how do you make those big letters on the wall um so this is how I do it there might be an easier way I'm sure you can look up YouTube videos and stuff um I just did a couple big things now let that golf cart go. <laughs> I just printed them out. I would print out just one letter on each blank piece of paper. Um, a lot of the bundles that you'll get off of Teachers Pay Teachers, they'll come already like sized correctly. So then you can just print them off, laminate them, cut them, or cut them and then laminate them. 
Um, so that helps me a lot with sizing. Um, I'm sure you can also buy some off Amazon, um, like pre-made laminated ones. Um, I haven't really looked, so not much help with that one, but that's just how I do it. I just print it off the biggest font I can get, print them off, cut them, and then laminate them. And they look cute, so I suggest doing that if you can't find another way to do it. All right, so another question that I got was, what theme am I doing this year? And so I'm not really doing a theme, I'm doing a color scheme, um, but the past four months, or whenever I was teaching for this four months, I just like had all my stuff pastel colored. Um, I just like love like light pastel colors, so I kind of just gravitated towards that. I wasn't really planning on doing pastels, but it just like fit, and I didn't really have a lot of time to put time into like my classroom and decorating it as much as I'm going to this year. So I kind of had pastels, and I knew I was going to keep that for the fall, whenever I start teaching again for the next school year. Um, so this upcoming school year, I'm keeping everything that I used this past school year. So um, I'll be using all of that. So I did get the Calm, and, or maybe it's Calm Colors bundle off of TBT. I'll link it below. Super cute. And I'm kind of choosing aspects of, from that bundle. So I'm not using the whole bundle. I'm choosing certain parts of it because again, I'm reusing everything from this past school year that I used for just those four months. I knew I was gonna use them for more than just four months. So I have like a calendar set already and all of that. So I won't be using any of those, um, but it has some really, really cute stuff in it that I'll be using. So I'll be doing that. And I'm also going to be using or like incorporating some of like the rainbow, boho, cutie little stuff like that. So I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna end this video kind of just with some videos that I'll be doing. Um, kind of get you excited for some future videos. I know I'll be doing decorating my classroom, organizing my classroom. I'm switching classrooms than I was, or blah, 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 blah. I'm switching classrooms from the one I was in for those four months. And so my classroom's a little bigger, so I'm excited about that. But it's a complete blank slate, which is also really great. I can kind of organize things from the get-go and it'll just be so great. I'm a very organized person when it comes to like my workspace and classroom and stuff. Cause like my room, probably not so much at home, but anyways. So I'm gonna do tons of videos on organizing all of that. Um, if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, then you'll know I do a ton of hauls, um, Target hauls, TJ Max hauls, Ross hauls, literally never ending hauls. I find myself buying stuff for my classroom all the time. So I'll be doing a bunch of haul videos um, and then just some other ones. So if you have suggestions, leave them down below and I will do those because I'm super excited. And yeah, okay, I apparently picked like the loudest place to film this video because I've tried this like little ending clip like three times and it's been so loud on the road. So anyways, follow me on TikTok and Instagram and subscribe to my channel and I'm super excited to film more videos for you guys.